Hello everyone. Uh, as this day comes to a close, I wanted to uh, wish all of you a happy feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And I wanted to uh, extend a special um, congratulatory blessing uh, to those of you who have chosen this day um, to make your uh, first or to renew especially um, your consecration to our Holy Mother. On this feast, I wanted to read to you guys some interesting stuff that I found online. Um, I found it on OurLadyNeedsFatima.org and then I wanted to read to you briefly because it's a pretty long article um, from St. Maximilian Kolbe um, what he has to say about the brown scapular. Um, the brown scapular was given um, by Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So before I begin reading, let's begin with a quick prayer, and then I'll finish with a prayer um, to Our Lady of Mount Carmel and the renewal of consecration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pray for us. Sorrowful and Immaculate Heart of Mary, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, you don't have to look at me uh, while I read. I'll let you look at a picture of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. This is actually a picture that hangs in my boys' room. So, the name Carmel in Hebrew means uh, Hakamal. It means the garden or the garden land. Forgive my uh, bad Hebrew. <laughs> uh, and it's... Uh, because it was renowned, this mountain for verdant beauty during ancient times uh, was covered with blossoms, flowering shrubs, and fragrant herbs. The title of Our Lady of Carmel can be traced back to the hermits who used to live in the renowned and blessed mountain at the time of the Old Testament. There, this pious and austere community prayed in expectation of the advent of a virgin mother who would bring salvation to mankind much like the holy prophet Elias who ascended Mount Carmel to pray to God for the salvation of the Israel which was suffering a terrible drought at the time Elias went up top excuse me Elias went up to the top of Mount Carmel and casting himself down upon the earth put his face between his knees 1 Kings 18 verse 42 he persevered in prayer and as previously mentioned above sent his servant several times to the mountain top to see any sign of foreboding rain. Elias, never wavering in his confidence, received the good news on the seventh try. Behold, a little cloud arose out of the sea like a man's foot. 1 Kings 18 verse 44 Soon thereafter, torrential rains fell upon the parched land and the people of Israel were saved. Elias saw the cloud as a symbol of the virgin mentioned in the prophecies of Isaiah, Isaiah 7:14. The hermits took after his example and prayed likewise for the advent of the much-awaited virgin who would become the mother of the Messiah. It became their spiritual mission. Theologians see in that little cloud a figure of Mary bringing salvation in the seventh age of the world. As the clouds arise out of the sea without the weight and the salinity of the water, so has Mary arisen out of the human race without suffering its stains. Um, and one more interesting note. Um, so it goes into uh, how this text um, from the cloud reveals the four secrets uh, of the Virgin Mary. It reveals her immaculate conception because the Virgin would arise as a cloud out of the salty water. 
uh, the virginity of Mary similar to that of Elias, because she arose out of Mar Mount Carmel, and like a man's foot, this means she would follow the path of Elias, who ascended Carmel through voluntary virginity. And three, at the time of the virgin's birth, because of Eli as Elias' servant saw the cloud on the seventh, try, so would the world witness the advent of the virgin in the seventh age of the world. For uh, the virginity, the virginal maternity, because in that little cloud, God would come down like sweet rain without noise of human collaboration, that is, without violating her purity. Um, and then one other thing I wanted to point to was, is very interesting, um, about the, apparently the first church to honor Our Lady in the Christian era is actually, uh, from this community. Uh, so according to a long-held and pious tradition, backed by church liturgy, a group of men devoted to the prophets Elias and Elisus, embraced Christianity on the day of Pentecost. They had been the disciples of St. John the Baptist, who prepared them for the coming of the Redeemer. This band of faithful left Jerusalem and settled on Mount Carmel. There they erected a church dedicated to Our Lady on the same spot where Elias saw the little cloud, which symbolized both fertility and the immaculate conception of the Mother of God. They adopted the name of Friars of the Blessed Mary of Mount Carmel. So I'm just going to leave that at there. Um, but if you guys want more information, check out America needs fatima.org our lady of mount carmel some pretty interesting information there so and saint saint maximilian colby also writes for this feast um, about the carmelite scapular um, this is uh, article 1097 so about the scapular he writes on july 16th 1251 Blessed Simon Stock, the sixth general of the Carmelites, was pleading to the Most Blessed Mother for protection of the order, which at the time was facing difficulties. In a vision, he saw the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, who gave him a scapular, saying, Accept, my son, the scapular for your order as a mark of my confraternity. It will be a great privilege for you and all the children of Carmel, and those who die wearing the scapular will never suffer eternal fire. It is a mark of salvation, a shield in danger, and a token of eternal of the eternal covenant. End quote. Subsequently, the Most Blessed Mother also appeared to Pope John XII and promised she would release from purgatory on the first Saturday immediately following their death those souls who during their lifetime had worn the scapular with devotion. Although such appearances are not an article of faith, the number of conversions achieved through the scapular is telling proof of their authenticity. About these apparitions, Pope Paul V says, Christians may devoutly believe in what is said about the aid experienced by the souls of the members of the confraternity of the scapular. That is to say, that the Most Blessed Virgin would help the souls of the religious and of the members of the confraternity who died in the love of God, and who during their lifetime wore this holy garment, that she came to their aid with continual intercession in their favor, with pious prayers, with her merits, and with her special protection after death, especially on Saturdays, dedicated by the church to the mother of God herself. End quote. Oddly enough, those who have adopted the Carmelite scapular, if they actually wear it to the day of their death, die happy and serene. But if they do not intend to repent, they die without their scapulars. The scapular, rosary, and miraculous medal. Here are three things that the Immaculata herself has deigned to offer for the salvation of mankind. So let us finish with a prayer. This is a prayer from taken from Catholic 
org, and it's a prayer to the most uh, to the Blessed Virgin Lady of Mount Carmel. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. O most beautiful flower of Mount Carmel, fruitful vine, splendor of heaven, blessed Mother of the Son of God, immaculate Virgin, assist me this my necessity, O star of the sea. Help me and show me herein, herein you are my mother. O Holy Mary, Mother of God, Queen of heaven and earth, I humbly beseech you from the bottom of my heart to secure me in this necessity. There are none that can withstand your power. O, sure, o show me herein you are my mother. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O oh, show me herein you are my mother, O oh, Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. O oh, show me herein you are my mother, O oh, Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Sweet mother, I place this cause in your hands. Sweet mother, I place this cause in your hands. Sweet mother, I place this cause in your hands. Amen. Immaculata, Queen and Mother of the Church, I renew my consecration to you this day and for always, so that you may use me for the coming of the kingdom of Jesus in the whole world. To this end, I offer you all my prayers, actions, and sacrifices of this day. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us who have recourse to you, and for all those who do not have recourse to you especially the enemies of the Holy Church and all those recommended to you. Amen. O Immaculata, please intercede that the love of all believers may overcome every division and discord. Amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God richly bless all of you on this special feast and may our Holy Mother hold you close to her heart. Amen.